All right, guys. Thank you for joining. This is actually my first live for the publishing house, ND Miller Publishing. Most of you guys know my name is Nicole D. Miller, and I am author of When Love Wins. When Love Wins is an urban fiction sick an urban fiction Christian story depicting a rift between two young women uh, when Natalie, the faith-based social justice advocate writer, loses her mom. She moves in with her cousin Ashley, the urban socialite fashionista artist, thinking she's going to get grief support and instead she finds an icy cold welcome from Ashley. So Ashley has beef with Natalie. It's seems like it's because her ex is feeling Natalie, but really there's some deeper childhood wounds there. You can learn more about my debut novel at winlovewins.love. All right, guys, like I said, I wanted to do a live for my publishing house, Indie Miller Publishing, and I just released a blog for Indie Miller Publishing called Everything You Need to Know to Record Your Audiobook. So with When Love Wins, I actually was able to record my audiobook, and I picked up a few tips that I wanted to share with my audience. So recording your own audiobook can be rewarding and an, an enjoyable experience, and it's not as hard as you might think, as long as you have the right equipment and know-how. This guide will give you the basics of what you need to know to record your own audiobook. So writing. The first step in creating your audiobook is writing the book. If you're starting from scratch, consider hiring a professional ghostwriter to help craft your book. Platforms like Fiverr.com are a great way to get some help with that. Once the manuscript is ready, you should have it professionally edited to ensure all the grammar and punctuation is correct. Of course, we recommend getting it done by our stellar editors here at ND Miller Publishing. So you'll also need recording equipment to record your audiobook. You'll need some basic um, equipment. Most people use a computer with a microphone and audio editing software like Audacity or Adobe uh, Audition. You can also purchase specialized USB microphones, which will produce higher quality recordings. If you feel less equipped for this task, consider connecting with an audio engineer in a quality studio. When you perform the recording, you should use a flat screen device such as an iPad to read from. If you use an actual paperback, there may be noise when you turn the page. So that last tip is a definitely something that I learned in my own experience with recording When Love Wins. I did not know to use the flat screen surface, <laughs> so I had to learn the hard way. So publishing your book. Once your audiobook is recorded, you'll need to distribute it to the public. There are many platforms available for audiobook distribution, such as Amazon's Audible and Apple Books. You'll need to set up an account with each platform and upload your recording before you can start selling it. Additionally, consider marketing the book through social media or other channels to reach more potential listeners. With these steps in mind, you can start producing your audiobook. Recording an audiobook is a great way to become an author and share your story with the world. Just remember that it takes time, patience, and dedication to produce high quality recordings. And this is what I'll say on that tip. Like, I actually worked with an audio engineer, so I didn't do it myself at home. So I actually traveled to a home studio and did it that way. But I will still say it definitely takes time and patience because we had to keep going over certain things and I was exhausted after each session. And that was just something that I did not anticipate. Like I was wore out. So be patient with the process. So audiobook covers. Another critical factor when it comes to releasing your audiobook is the cover art. A good cover will help capture potential listeners' attention and interest them in your book. You can either hire a graphic designer to create the artwork or use a template from a stock library like Shutterstock or iStock. If you published your book's ebook version, you can use the ebook cover. It may need to be resized to fit specific platforms such as ACX, Amazon's Audiobook Branch. So, as I mentioned, I am a published author. So for me, I didn't just release an audiobook, I actually released a paperback and an ebook. 
So I was able to use the cover from One Love Wins, but what I didn't realize <laughs> was all of the tediousness that was going to go into me formatting and reformatting it for ACX. And so I had to reach out to my graphic uh, designer to get the requirements that I need needed for the cover. But since you guys know this ahead of time, you won't go through the stumbling blocks that I did. So another step in this process is editing. Once you've recorded and uploaded your audiobook, it's essential to go back and edit out any mistakes or background noise. Listening back to the recording can be tedious, but it's a necessary step to produce a quality audiobook. If you're working with an audio engineer, you'll have the benefit of having multiple sets of ears to listen for errors. You may even want to recruit friends or beta readers to help with this task. The fewer errors, the more credible your book will be to your listeners. So like I mentioned before, I worked with an audio engineer, so I had the added benefit of having his set of ears, my set of ears. I did reach out to a friend <laughs> to get their set of ears, but didn't get their feedback in time. But like I said, it's definitely um, helpful to have multiple people listening to, to your work so that it can be more polished. So once you have your audiobook, then you have to promote it. Um, you'll want to start promoting it on social media. That's a great way to get the word out and build a following. You can also reach out to book bloggers, podcasts, and other authors to spread the word about your audiobook. So here's just a note from the blog. Audiobooks are here to stay. They're becoming increasingly popular as more people look for easier ways to consume content. They are also a must if your audience consists of on-the-go types with no time to read paperback books, yours truly. With the right equipment and knowledge, anyone can create their own audiobook and share their story with the world. Creating an audiobook is also a great way to enter the publishing industry without spending a fortune. It may seem daunting, but with the right equipment and knowledge, it can be a fun and rewarding experience. Writing the story, setting up the equipment, editing out mistakes, publishing your book, and promoting it are all necessary steps in creating a successful audiobook. And so I will just add this when it comes to um, knowing your audience. So for me, I'm writing my audience to young 20-somethings. I know they are not about that paper book life unless they're avid readers. So I definitely knew I needed to do an audiobook. Here are just a few tips to kind of give you guys to summarize this blog. Practice speaking slowly and clearly so listeners can understand what you're saying when you're recording. Take breaks between recording sessions so that your voice can rest. Speak in a natural tone of voice and avoid using overly complex words or slang. So what I'll say is that I did have slang in my novel. So of course there was slang, but taking your time and pronouncing words will help with that. Use noise canceling headphones to minimize outside distractions. Listen back to your recordings regularly and make adjustments as needed. Find ways to market and promote your audiobook to reach more potential listeners. Take feedback from listeners and use it to improve future recordings. Do voice exercises in between sessions and before recordings. That was definitely something I didn't know to do. And make sure to have water and or tea on hand to aid with saliva buildup. Again, something I didn't know to do. So I wish I would have known that before I recorded it. By following these tips, you should be able to create an excellent audiobook, even from the comfort of your own home. We hope this guide helps as a great starting point for you to have your story, to share your story with the world. To check out an example of one of our audiobooks, go to winlovewins.love and grab your copy today. All right, guys, so you can check out the latest blog post from Andy Miller uh, Publishing at ndmiller.pub. Email me if you have any questions at info at ndmillerpublishing.com. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at H-T-O-H-B, which stands for How to Overcome Heartbreak, which is my first book. You can also follow our Facebook page, facebook.com backslash H-T-O-H-B. But if you want more tips like these, definitely follow up the publishing house on Facebook and on Instagram at ND Miller Publishing. I hope that helps you guys in your endeavors with your book publishing and audio book recording um, experiences. 
And we do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. We do offer line copy and development editing. And of course, hybrid publishing services. You can learn more at ndmiller.pub.